Hi everybody, it's Jennifer and today I'm going to do a first impression review of the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation as well as the powder. Now I did feature this powder in my December favorites because I have been using it with my Revlon Whip Foundation and I really do like it. So this is the first time I'm going to try the foundation. I don't have any Maybelline foundations. Uh, so this will be the first time I'm trying Maybelline foundation in general and um, I will give you my honest review and opinion on the foundation. Okay, so I just got out of the shower so please pardon my hair being up in a towel. I'm going to fix it later. So I am going to first start with priming half of my face with the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer just to see how this foundation holds up with or without a primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on just one side of my face, on my face. So while this side is soaking in the primer, I'm gonna go ahead and put the foundation on the opposite side without primer. But I did moisturize my face. If you wanna know what moisturizers I put on my face, I will list it in the description box below. So here is the foundation, Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I am in the shade 310, Sun Beige. So I hope it's a match. I've never tried this foundation before. So this will be the first time. I wish it came with a pump. It's not that easy to take out of the bottle. So with the side that doesn't have the primer, I'm going to use the Real Techniques Blending Sponge. The sponge really soaks up a lot of the foundation, so I'm going to apply another coat. I have normal combination skin. My skin on my cheeks is normal, it's not dry and it's not oily, but my forehead and my nose tend to get really shiny as the day goes on. Okay, so now that the primer has already soaked in, I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics OMG foundation brush on this side. Alright, so I zoomed you in a little bit closer so you can see my pores and my freckles. So this side has the baby skin poreless primer. I could still see my pores. And it's even more visible on this side that doesn't have the primer. My pores are still definitely visible. Alright, so now I'm going to put on concealer and then I'm going to set it with the setting powder. For concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 Sand Sable. I'm going to try to avoid covering all my pores with the concealer because that's not what we're working with here. Let's see if the foundation and the setting powder do its job as it says it does. I'm using the blending sponge as I usually do to set, just to even out my concealer. Just to set my concealer, I'm using my e.l.f. High Definition under eye setting powder. And to set the rest of my face, I'm using the Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 120. It is a little bit lighter than the foundation because I don't want to make the rest of my face dark, especially the center part of my face. I like to make the center part and high points of my face lighter and then the rest of my face darker with bronzer. 
So I usually pick a powder that is one shade lighter than my foundation. I'm just putting a little more powder than normal right on my pores. All right, so let's do another close-up of my pores and my freckles. Okay, so my real first impression is the side that I put the primer on. The pores are definitely less visible and my skin looks a lot more smoother. I could still see my freckles though, but that was just one layer of foundation and I didn't conceal my freckles like I usually do. So this side, without the primer, my pores are still visible. Definitely you need primer for this foundation. The finish is definitely matte and it is a medium, light to medium coverage with just one layer. But so far, I am really liking the side that I use the primer and I use my foundation brush to apply the foundation. All right, so it's just a little bit past one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm gonna put makeup on the rest of my face and fix my hair. I'm gonna do some errands today and then I will check back with you later. Okay, so it's a little bit past three now. It's been exactly two hours since I applied the foundation and powder. I went ahead and fixed my hair and put on the rest of my makeup. I didn't put any highlighter on my cheeks because I don't want you to give the impression that there is a glow to this foundation. This is a matte foundation. So, so far my impression of this foundation is it does crease. Um, I do see a little bit of creasing on my laugh lines and my forehead is okay. Um, but definitely it's visible on my laugh lines. I can see that I would have to go over it again with the powder to blur that out. Um, so far the powder still looks really nice and light. It doesn't look cakey and the foundation doesn't look cakey at all. And it feels nice, but I'm just going to tell you right now that the pores are still visible. Even on the side that has the primer, it's not as bad. On the, the side with the primer, the pores are okay. They look normal. Uh, but on this side without the primer, it, it doesn't look good. I mean, I definitely would go back again and put some poreless primer or some sort of poreless uh, setting powder that is stronger than the Fit Me setting powder. So, highly recommend putting a primer if anything. And so, now I'm gonna go out and do some more errands and I will check back with you later again and give you my final thoughts on the foundation. Okay, it is now 521. It is past four hours since I applied the foundation and I didn't do any touch-ups with the powder and I can already tell you that it doesn't stay matte. I'm already shiny on the forehead and T-zone so my natural oils already have seeped through after four hours and um, I do still see a little bit of creasing on my laugh lines, uh, still no creasing on my forehead or under my eyes, which is good. Um, overall, the foundation is very lightweight. Um, so if you're looking for something to wear for four hours that stays matte, it's okay. Yeah, I would say the foundation is okay. Um, as far as coverage, I could definitely use more concealer or another layer of foundation if I wanted to really cover up my freckles and definitely use a primer on this foundation because without the primer, my pores were definitely visible on this side and just slightly less visible on this side, but I could still see them. 
So that is my overall first impression of this foundation. After doing touch-ups with the powder and the sponge applicator that it comes with, I definitely see a better difference in the look of my pores when I actually press the powder into my skin versus using a brush. This one just lightly dusts the powder on, but it doesn't pack it into blurring my pores out versus if you use this sponge applicator that comes with the powder and you press it into your pores, huge difference. It definitely blurs out the pores better when you press it in using this. So I'm just doing a little touch up since it's already been past four hours. This one definitely fits my needs as far as mattifying my shiny T-zone and also as a bonus blurring out my pores on the sides of my nose. So I really like this powder. I'm going to keep the powder. The foundation, however, I think it's really good foundation for something that is close to skin-like finish. Um, it's not dewy, it's definitely not cakey. So I think that this is a great foundation for people with normal to combination oily skin and is looking for something lightweight. So I did take a photo out in the hallway to see if there's any flashback and there isn't, which is good. Um, and as you can see, there is a glow of oil on my forehead and my T-zone. So yeah, definitely after four hours, you do need to retouch and put more powder on if you want to get rid of the shine. So that is my first impression review on the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in Matte and Poreless as well as the Fit Me Powder. Overall, I don't think I'm going to repurchase this foundation uh, because I do like more coverage in a foundation and I am going to keep this powder. I definitely like this powder more than my other drugstore powders. Uh, so this is a keeper. Uh, this one I'm going to return to the store. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not already and thumbs up this video. I definitely appreciate it. And please comment down below if you have a foundation you want me to review. I'll definitely take a look. And thank you so much for watching. Till next time.